<clears throat> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to uh, the second game in our roguelike. Uh, oh, we call this a uh, a roguelike listing. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Rogue Legacy, one of my personal favorites, and probably the roguelike that really got me into the genre. It's very fun, although the downside to it is that we will be dying relatively often. And since I switch over to a new game when I die, as is the promise, this episode probably won't last 10 minutes. Just saying. But uh, without further ado, let us first delete this. Yeah, no backsies. And we will begin a new game as the knight. My duties are to my family. Dramatic pause. But I am loyal only to myself. Nostalgic vision. Oh, hello. We don't have all that many special abilities this early in the game. So. Although, this is really just the tutorial, so it really doesn't matter. I mean, like, this is just the tutorial. Basic stuff like how to move downwards, how to fight enemies, wear a helmet, down strike. All types of snitch and snitches. I think there's a button for the big down attack, but I definitely don't have it hooked up. Oh, look at this. Such beautiful art. The chalice, the undead zombies. Oh, look, it's the king. Oh. I already know how to attack. Should you sure about this? Hey. Hey. Eh, I can't jump over him. Alright. Sorry, Kingy, but the tutorial tells me to. <laughs> oh. To all. Alright then. Oh, here I am. Oh. What's in here? Nothing I have enough money for. I don't really have much of a helmet on this dude. Oh, time to enter the dungeon. Now the dungeon changes every time you play it, except for a few select moves. So it's really cool. Ooh, journal. Journal entry number one. Treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring orders back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the Cursed Woods and enter the Castle Hampton. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment, including assassin stabbiness. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Alright, Princey. Oh! First enemy. Alright, so let's try our best to die to this. And, alright, yeah. Right now we have like very. Very few abilities, but the ones that we were given in the tutorial, we were quite literally level zero. So the only way I can heal, if I don't have vampire runes like I normally do, is to, uh... Oh! Aww. Oh. Find some space, delicious nature space. But the goal of this game is basically to get more money so that you can build 
build on your man, and I will be returning to this game later in the series, but right now we can't even experience all that much. Because, like, the chances of not being able to beat a boss on this character <laughs> extremely low. But getting money every time we return will be stronger. And would you believe if I said that we're, the game is almost about to end? You know what? That seems a little unfair, though, to end this one so early just because of the way the gameplay mechanic is centered completely around if you die. Dang. Oh, another Prince journal. Good. Something to stall. Journal entry number two. Although I am the eldest child, I am not my father's favorite. I've always known he planned to leave me with nothing. Oh, alright, that's a little paranoid, but, uh... But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city, where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gods of the petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow as we pass, but I am getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. This guy doesn't really seem like he's out for the king's best interest. Inside there. This guy really not get any meat. Nope, just money apparently. No good. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, oh. Well, as short as that was, I'm sure the next time. I'm, you, you know what? You know what, actually, uh. This seems really retarded to only give this game, like. We're changing the rules up a little. I'll give this game three deaths. Three deaths, but I'm ending each episode on a death. Because this isn't like FTL and the other games where you can go a solid 30 minutes without dying. This is quite literally a solid, like, seven minutes tops without dying. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Roguelike Ballsy. Copyright infringement is bad. Yeah.